Hello, now I often get questions about the GP5 and fitting NATO filters to it, and as you'll know if you've seen a lot of my videos, you can't actually fit NATO filters directly to a GP5, the reason being that NATO Stanag threads don't fit Ghost threads. Now you can get things like the Polish FP5 filters which are normalised which fit the GP5 and things like that, but what I thought would be interesting is seeing if there is any way you can actually get a NATO filter to make an airtight seal with a GP5. Now. Just as a warning when I start this video, if you just simply shove a NATO filter into a GP5 and screw it in, what you'll probably do is just damage the threads on it, meaning it might not even fit Ghost filters anymore. So this is one of my old GP5s, I've got two of them. Um, so in this one I don't particularly mind shoving it in and see what happens. So the first idea I've got is obviously simply, <coughs> if I was to just shove this in, and if I can actually get it to turn, because it's going to create a lot more friction than with a Ghost filter, I'll explain why it won't actually make an airtight seal, but it's basically because the threads of the filter, you can probably hear the friction there as it grinds against it, there we go. So that's in fairly tight, but obviously it's not going to be airtight. Now what I'm just going to do is get some banana oil to prove that it doesn't, um, or some acetate to prove that it won't make an airtight seal, because what will happen is I can put the banana oil around this area of the thread, that bit. Um, and you'll be able to smell for there because what happens is the screw thread isn't identical to the actual thread there and also the o-ring of the sort of you know like the rubber ring seal of the filter and the mask don't quite push into each other so what I'm going to do is my first experiment once I've tested just to confirm this filter isn't you know making an airtight seal is to put one of these inside the thread of the mask and see if that will bump the you know gap down enough so it will actually fit. So let me just get the banana oil and test it. So what we're going to do is get the ice and I'll take the banana oil and I can smell that. I can definitely smell that and interestingly you'll see that I won't smell it through the filter. That's not where I smell it. I smell it around the thread because it's not airtight. So yeah I can smell that. So that confirms that the NATO filter even though you can bodge it on is not going to actually make an airtight seal. You hear that horrible friction as I unscrew that. Yeah, there we go. So what we're going to do now is get this, and this is the first way I think you might be able to force NATO filters to fit on the GP5. Get this. Um, you sometimes get these when you open a 40mm NATO or Ghost filter, you sometimes get rings inside to you know help um, make the cap of the filter make an airtight seal with it. So what we'll do now, look, you can see that that's in there and that's bumped up so we've got a bigger ring in there. So hopefully this will mean that the top of this filter is going to push against that and that will make an airtight seal. We will see. So again we'll get that and start screwing it back in. Which won't screw in properly because it's essentially always cross-threading in when you force NATO filters onto Ghost masks. If I can get that to start screwing in again. There we go. Right, that's in tight again, but this time obviously it's not screwed in as far because it's pushing against the rubber ring. So, let's test it again. Get this back on. As you can see, it appears to make an airtight seal, but it's probably not. And I think it's working. Yes, that does appear to be working. I can't smell the banana oil. So, yeah, let me just take the mask off. Yeah, I can smell it very obviously. So yes, this works. Um, so I previously got this to work with the PMG. Um, but obviously, as said, it's still better to use something like an FP5 filter, because that way you're not damaging the screw thread of the mask. If you do this, you're probably only going to ever be able to use NATO filters on the mask again. Um, which might not, you know, be too much of a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, so simply, that horrible friction noise, um, forcing a rubber sort of circular ring in there to bump up the one that's already in there. So to make that bulkier. And then the NATO filters actually fit on properly. Um, well, not properly, but essentially they push down on there it makes an airtight seal and um, it doesn't matter that the screw threads are different because this bit of the filter you know that bit is still pushing tight against there um, it's actually making an airtight seal so 
yeah, quite a simple solution really. I'd say this is an easier one than um, messing about with plumbing tape, because a few people have said to me, could I try experimenting with plumbing tape, tape, and if this doesn't work, I'd do that, but I don't think that would actually work, because the issue is, the idea they have is that if you put a load of plumbing tape around the outside of this and then you screw it in, um, you're going to get maybe an airtight seal around this bit of the filter, so therefore it would be airtight, and that's probably going to work. But the, the problem I can imagine is that as soon as you unscrew the filter, um, you're probably going to rip that tape. So if you go to replace the filter, you need to do it every time you put a new filter on, which is really impractical, whereas with this you don't, because it obviously just sits in there. As long as you don't lose it, it's there. You could even glue it in if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, there's that. It's working, I'm pleased to say. Um, so yeah, if you want to force a NATO filter onto a GP5, and obviously, or any other Ghost mask, and obviously under the assumption that you know you can damage the mask doing that, uh, what you want to do is just get one of these rubber rings. Now, I think FP5 filters do come with these, but um, I know that some NATO and GOS filters do come with these rubber rings. When you get the Soviet filters that have those like rubber stopper caps, you could always get one of those and then just cut like a circle into the middle of it. The idea is obviously that you've got breathing room through the middle of it, but the outside is going to push against where the filter pushes against it to um, make an airtight seal. So, yeah, there you go. Simple solution to get NATO filters um, working on a GP5. Wouldn't cost you much at all. You might even buy some filters, NATO filters, that would come with that anyway. And as I said, that's a very simple solution. So you could do this with something like a GP5 or a Polish CM1 or, um, you know, a Czech... Uh, no, sorry, a Polish MC1 or a Czech CM3. Um, you could do it with something like that, some of the, you know, masks that are really dirt cheap, ghost masks on the market that you're going to pay probably less than £10 for, or $10 for. And then, yeah, you can force NATO filters onto them. So, a very cheap way of getting a functioning gas mask. As said, I'd still not recommend this really over um, getting either FP5 filters for them that will make a really good seal, or, um, you know, just getting a modern NATO mask might be a good idea over modern NATO filters. But this is an option if you're on a budget, and it will actually work, it appears. So, yeah. Forcing a rubber little ring into the neck of a GP5 filter intake um, will make it work with NATO filters. There you go.